Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and talking about detoxing, faces of detox and I'm going to do it with the filter of a pretty flower because yesterday was crazy hat filter day, today is pretty flower filter day. So we're still having our flash sale for our next six week group. You can click on the link and get started with that. Um, some of the gals have had just fantastic results. Everybody's a little bit different, right? But the program takes you through high protein, carb cycling, fasting. You're going to learn so much about your body and hormones and have so many tools to use, not just now, but then going forward. I'm so passionate about educating women and getting them more in tune with their bodies, working with their versus fighting against everything. So. If you have questions on that, message me or comment below, but I would love, love, love to see you in there. And um, when we talk about detoxification, I go over a lot of this. So if you're like, maybe, I don't know, what is, what is this stuff? We're going to talk about this stuff today. Mm, exciting. Um, the other thing is if you find question helpful, if you could click the share button, that would be phenomenal so that people that you know and love can get this wonderful information as well. Uh, there's a lot of information out there in, you know, and sometimes it can be really tough to kind of wade through it all and figure out, is this right for me? Is this what's going to help me? How do I know? All that stuff. So again, if you have questions on any of it, don't hesitate, reach out. I love, love, love answering questions. So when we talk about different phases of detoxification, there's two main phases of detoxification. So first, your body needs to be primed and ready to actually go through a successful detox. If you're depleted in any way, if you're deficient in a certain way, if you have an overload of stress or other hormonal issues, it may be a little bit before your body is like primed and ready to really go through the detox process successfully. It's, I mean, if you think about it, like uh, how easy is it going to be to cleanse things out if your body's not strong to begin with, right? Yeah, just makes sense. I think it makes sense. So, um, so when we talk about the detox process, getting your body healthy and strong enough first to successfully detox is the very, very first step. But then when we go through the different phases of detox, here's what it looks like. So here's fat cells that are normal and they're thin and flat like little pancakes, deflated balloons. This is fantastic. Now this is what normally happens. You have about the same number of fat cells in your body right now as you did, you know, it changes a little bit when you're born me going on taking a left turn and talking about fat cells for just a minute so just if you don't like to hear about fat cells then plug your ears but fascinating thing is that babies when they're born they have different kinds of fat right so it's not just like the yellow fat that adults have they have brown fat now brown fat is totally different metabolically in your body than other types of fat why because there's other animals in the animal kingdom that also have brown fat like bears and animals that hibernate so brown fat is located in different parts on babies' bodies, and it's basically to keep them from starving to death. If for some reason they didn't get the food or brown fat, metabolically different, burns differently in the body. But by age like six or seven, there's really no more brown fat left in the human body. Okay. And left turn on the brown fat information. So when we talk about fat cells and how they are in the adult body, the adult body, right? So this is after they're about, uh, you know, six or seven years old. Now you're stuck with that same number for the rest of your life, which is okay, right? Everybody's, everybody's going to have like fat cells. Everybody has the same number. You just want your fat cells to look like this and not this, this, not this, right? Healthy, happy fat cells, fat cells that are tired and holding a lot of energy and other toxic junk in them. Meh. Okay. So how does that happen, right? Now this process also doesn't happen overnight and there's typically a few things occurring in your life that cause that to happen. Sometimes people will look and say, well, you know, it's just, I just, just need to eat better. It's not, you just need to eat better. It's never, you just need to eat better. There's a lot of people who are eating clean, eating healthy. And for some reason, their body's still holding on to all this stuff. Let me back up a minute. Stuff by stuff, I mean, normal fat cells, right, in the body, and your body is able to process normally, healthy functions going on, etc. Great. Now, if you have other toxic junk, things in the environment, now, and I'm not going to get into a huge tangent about toxins and things like that, but if you've been exposed to environmental toxins, chemicals, things like that, they will impact your body in a way that it, certain cells do not function the way that they normally would, meaning that they would also be in a protective 
mechanism and be protecting your body. How they do that is often by storing junk in the fat cells to encase it so it doesn't cause any more damage. So, um, for example, I'll use, I'll use me for an example for some of these things. So my dad uh, is a mechanical engineer and he's owned his own business. I mean, as long as I can remember, he started it in our basement when, when I was like five or maybe before that. But I mean, I grew up with like a lathe and milling machine and all these other things in my basement that, right? So there was, Watch them? Of course we did. We were kids. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> anyway, so these things were around, and we would play in the basement. We would do these things like fumes from all these things. I mean, granted, you safety regulations, etc., whatever, right? My dad would come home from work, and there's a smell that reminds me of them. It's like a metallic smell, and and, and it's metal chips. That's what reminds me of my dad, like metal shavings. And, um, and different like lubricants and coolants. So being exposed to those chemicals, now I certainly didn't get as much exposure as my dad, but on a very young system, I was exposed to certain chemicals, things like that. That's gonna affect my body processes things out of my system. So that's an example of certain chemical things that you can be exposed to in your lifetime. Things like mold, things like stress, and this is external stress if you've had a traumatic event happen. And these, there's traumatic events that are listed, moves, um, marriages, divorces, um, having kids or having loved ones die. Um, you know, there's this whole list of traumatic things. There's also physical injury. So if you've broken bones or had a surgery or all these things, traumatic events that cause this whole other thing in the body, right? I'm going into detail on this phase because I really want people to understand it's not just as simple as I'm not eating healthy enough or whatever. It, it, it's just, it's not that simple. There's other things at play here. So to think about what your body's gone through to get to this point, when you were, were working on backing that trolley up, think about all the things that came into play to get there. So, yeah. So stress, environmental things, other hormonal things. If you've had kids, if you've had other hormone issues, um, you know, stuff like that is comes into play. How's your thyroid functioning? I've had a lot of conversations with people about thyroid, thyroid issues, and this all plays into effect. If your body system as a whole is not operating tip-top condition, then it's going to play into this factor here. So you got all this other toxic crap, toxic junk right here, okay? This is just the environmental stuff, the stress, the hormones, the whatever, right? That's there. When, you're, when there's so much in the body, it in fat cells, here we go, and then it's going to protect it by adding more energy around it. So it's going to take energy, food that you eat, and store it. So that's And they're holding all that stuff in there. It's trying to protect it for you. So it's this big process. It doesn't happen overnight. Right? It can happen little at little chunks at a time. And a lot of times I'll hear from women, you know, I was doing okay. I was really healthy. And then my mom got really sick and I had to take care of her. So she was dying. So there was a six month. And she passed away. And then I thought I'd be able to get my life back on track or get healthier again. But I've never been able to get back to it. You know, things like that. These are real life things. So over that course of time, extreme stress, other things going on. If you're caretaking for somebody else, you're not focused on yourself as much. So of course, this is what's going to happen. So no matter how many hours you spend on that treadmill or how many salads you eat, you're not going to reverse this process. So it's phase one of detoxification that reverses this process. You know, really understanding everything in the body that happens to it. Because your body deals with a lot, right? Be nice to it. Be nice to your body. <laughs> so, so having this reversed is the key to switching things over, getting your metabolism going, getting your body healthier, clearing this out so it can process things normally again, right? So this goes, this is where we go through a fasting cleanse. Whew. I'm gonna talk just briefly about this here. Just briefly. So for a fat, because this happens here then with all of these cells. This is gonna be. You know, all these cells here are like this. So you really want to target all these cells. So when you reverse this process, go through a fasting cleanse. Um, and I'm not going to discuss the exact pr protocol on this video. There's other videos I've gone through. Um, but when you target these cells to reverse that, you're doing your cleanse. Again, you got to understand that this goes step by step. Because your body then has to deal with the reverse of all of it. 
and it's at a faster pace than when it came on. So your, your cells get broken open because now your body's targeting them, using them for energy, stuff comes out, and then it gets filtered out of your body like that. It looks exactly like that when it gets filtered out too, by the way, in case you were wondering. That's very accurate right there. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but when stuff comes out of the cell, that one of detoxification, really drawing it out, removing it from the cell. Phase two is eliminating it from the body, so we'll get to that. But your body can only handle this phase one so many steps at a time. So sometimes, ladies, and you know, I work with women primarily, um, but you'll notice that when you're going through a fasting cleanse day, uh, sometimes it can be tough to go through, it, it, you know, just to get through that day. And then afterwards, you'll notice, okay, maybe I feel like I have more energy or mental clarity or something like that. My digestive system's working better. Digestive system is huge for a lot of this as well. But there's another piece to it too that's really important to recognize and realize. As your body then is processing through all this crap that got released from the fat cells and your body has to process it out, it's going to affect your other organs and, symptom, and systems differently. So sometimes you may feel refreshed from doing a cleanse day, but if you've got a lot of junk that's getting filtered out, you might feel a little tired or be like, you know, I've been doing you know this fasting thing for a while and all of a sudden now I feel like I'm tired in the afternoons. What's happening? Well, have you been under excess stress recently? Yes? Okay. Yep. Now your body has to, not only does that stress come in, now your body has to push it out. And it's trying to push it out faster than when it came in. So it's that extra processing. So be nice. Like, that's going to help turn things around a little bit quicker. For gals, this can really affect your cycle. And again, this is my area of specialty. So questions on this part, again, don't hesitate and reach out. There's not enough people who are willing to talk about these things with women to really impact them and make a difference in their lives. So again, share if this is, if you know somebody who may be impacted by this as well. So for gals, when they're doing this process, they, having it come on will cause cycle issues. So this can be, you know, changes in your period, or this can be, um, like it's, you know, color consistency, you know, symptoms, PMS symptoms, all these other things will change and be like, whoa, that's different. Or the timing of it is way off. Or, oh my God, I have my period for two weeks. Oh, that's not normal. Why is that happening? And then you shift something to try and get it more normal. And they're like, yeah, it's better, but it's still not, something's still off here. And you have all these other things going on. Yep. As you go through the detox process and to reverse that, it, it's going to change your cycle a little bit too. If you've been under stress and then you're doing detoxing, that'll change your cycle too. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but just realize that it's part of the uncovering process that your body has to deal with these, these things, you know, to get to a stronger point. The great thing is, is that once you get to that stronger point, you're at a whole different level. So you can ward off and fight off a lot of other things easier and it's not going to impact your system as negatively in the future. <sighs> Hopefully that makes sense. But whole big process of going through it, what comes in has to go out. It's true with a lot of things, let's be honest. But with dealing with this with hormones, having it come out and flushed out of the body is really, really important. So that's my info for phase one detoxification. We're gonna talk about phase two and some important things with that tomorrow. It's gonna be really exciting. Maybe I'll do another filter. There's, um, there's an astronaut one. I really want to try. If you would like to jump in on our next six week group, um, click get in on that and I will see you guys tomorrow.